Good morning, cadets. Welcome back to our Ghost of Tsushima playthrough where looks like we have at least one more side mission. I don't know if it's, this is gonna be like a series of side missions after the story of Ike Island and the main one, but we shall see. And yeah, let's just talk with Fune and see what's this all about. あんたに礼を言わなきゃね。大高を打ち取り、天井のことを許してやったろ。大高のことはいい。だが天蔵は息を血で怪我したくなかった。そうはいかないんだ。もうこの船が沖に出てる。手下の腹を満たせる食い物
I might uh, lose that bet. Who knows? Uh, I guess we'll find out after we do the quest. Uh, looks like my resolve is non existent almost. Okay. And. Ah. It's a shame. Sheep. Came back. Alright. What's that creaking? Hello? Is anybody else here? Am I gonna have surprises? Or is just. I'm not seeing anyone around here. Do I need to sleep with one eye open? Uh, I think I might need to. Please, ain't great. By the sound of it. メシを奪えってのが妙なんだ。どうしてあの船にだけ執着する?敵はすでに動き出してる。言い争ってる時か。頭、答えてくれ。断る。答える筋はない。Where? Okay, we're actually docked in the southern part of the island. ジン、口を出すな。頭の味方は誰だ?俺たちか。人切りの息子か。お前にもみんなにも私は身を懲りして勤めてきた船の支度を急げ王瀬のままに手下を浜で待たせてる行くよ。うん、え、すぐなビーアプロブレム。気に病んでないぞ。ああ、もうすぐ時に会えるしね。
Okay. This one kind of hurt. Okay, we need to get up there. No, miss me that Jin. Go inside. Ow. Alright. That was a nice shot. Are you guys running away or what's going on? I think you are. Right, let's take this ladder on this side. It should give me a bit of cover. What? Oh, alright. This is interesting positioning. Nobody on this side. I think I saw. Yeah, there's some uh, prisoners. Need some kunais. Need these supplies as well. Yeah, now that I need them. Fune? Konna tokoroni. トキ。またさてごめんね。ああ。この子は薬で心を病んでる。私が迂闊に渡したばかりに。薬が強く中毒になったか。私は気づきもしたかった。トキが幾人も手下を殺すまでは仲間殺しは死罪私の娘でさえも。だけど逃がした。手下はみんな怒ってね。去る者も恨む者もいた。自らの掟を破ったのはあの日で最後。でも亡くした者は戻らぬ。己を責めてはならん。一度この子に会った。思いがけず見かけたんだけど夢うつつで不妙にまみれて幾日もさまよってたんだろうね不意に腹が立ったんだでたら立ち去った連れて帰らずにまだ間に合う船から降ろそうああ こいつは驚いたてめえの娘を助けるためだったのか俺の兄弟を殺した女だぞ時はその罪を十分に償っただろう十分一人で納得するなだが礼を言えそいつの喉をかっきる前に別れくらい言わせてやるよこの娘を今
That's the side quest. Right? Yes, it is. And increase the power of shoulder charge, a split sprint strike techniques. And I guess, yeah, that seems to be if I saw disabled anything else in terms of rewards, no. <laughs> it looks like I don't have yeah, anything else. Because I got the achievement that complete all the tales for Iki. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go actually to the refuge just to see if there's any just conversations available. Just run, run around and then I guess this is it. I'll uh, offer my thoughts on the game and yeah, we'll leave it there for this playthrough. All right, anybody here? Is Fune at her usual location by any chance? Okay, so far nobody has any conversations available. Mm, no, I don't think Fune is here. I'm not seeing her with the senses. It's just some raider here maybe she's chilling at the boat wait what ah i got prompt to grab the line over there all right nobody else has something to say Oh, looks like there is somebody on the top here. Is it Fune? No, there's just some random raiders. Okay, where is Fune by any chance? It's not showing the map either. I guess maybe she's on a break for now. She and she's not here. She left somebody else in charge for the moment. See, yeah, I'm not. Okay. Yep, I'm not seeing any conversations available. I don't know where Fune is, just out of curiosity. Okay, I guess I'm gonna leave it here. There's nothing else left to do. Let's just do a double check. Well, there is some vanity gear that I still need to find, but for that, uh, I'm gonna need uh, flowers. And that one I can do off screen, to be honest. It's not uh, gonna be exciting for me just running around collecting flowers. But yeah, looks like I got most of the vanity gear as well. Got all the shrines, hot springs, wind shrines. Looks like I managed to do, find everything. Helping hand, courtesy. Artifacts as well. And then this is just what I have in terms of materials, wood, metal, cloth, and well, the goods. Uh, now, there is actually the Legends Storyteller, but again, I think that's most like multiplayer. I'll have to double check if I can do that as a solo mode and maybe there are going to be a couple more episodes depending how many Legends or are there because I did notice it's not the same story or not the same lines the legend storytellers 
tails, depending where it's located. And yeah, I'll have to see if I can do any of those solo mode and maybe... Maybe we're gonna be a couple more episodes with the Legends stories. But again, that I'll have to see off screen. And also as well, if it's something really interesting because it might not be that interesting and i might forego recording those but overall yeah really great game um i'm gonna start with the obvious because there was a couple of more than a couple of times when i just stopped and admired the environment so there were really really beautiful locations that literally made me stop and just admire it and i gotta say i love the way that in certain locations like the camera would zoom out and give you like a wider view of the environment so that was like a really neat touch uh Story-wise, I think this is not like really based on like real history. I don't think uh, Jin Sakai is a historical figure. It's just something made up for the game. But they did have like the Mongol invasion. And I believe if my history memory serves me right right now, I think there was like two attempts. And I'm saying attempts for the mongols to invade japan and i think either in the first attempt or the second i know there was like a storm it happened like it was a tsunami that destroyed all of the mongol ships and and i think now this is going to into another game i believe the total war series way way back when the first Total War games came. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think it was... They started with Japan. I think it was Shogun. Total War. And I think one of the expansions for it was... What if the Mongols would have managed to land on Japan? So it was a bit of alternate history. And I think, yeah. I think it was Shogun Total War was the first Total War game. And then it was... The Mongol DLC, well, see, Mongol expansion, like I said, what if the storm never happened and the Mongols managed to land on, on mainland Japan? And then I think it was medieval, the next, and then Rome. I think that was like the order. But yeah, coming back here, uh, I see like the main game was, yeah, dealing with the Mongol invasion. Iki Island expansion, I see, was a bit more personal story and now I'm wondering what would have changed in terms of lines because I had available to go to Iki Island I think at the beginning of Act 2 or something like that and yeah I did notice that Jin said like the Khan is dead so yeah we did the main game we killed Kotun Khan all good now I wonder if by any chance I'd have started Iki Island during Act 2. If it was a bit more different, what exactly would have changed in terms of lines and all that? Small differences, you know. But yeah, Iki Island was a bit more personal and I see like to... It was a bit of a story of acceptance for Jin. Like forgiveness, forgive yourself and looks like we just beat the poison with our own strong will. So it was not uh, something, okay, we need to find an antidote or whatnot. And they could have gone either way with Iki Island. Like, we would have actually imagined that we're kind of fighting the Mongols, but we're actually killing some of the raiders as well, some Mongols. And for a moment, I thought we were actually fighting... Tenzo, not the eagle. 
in the last fight and then maybe it would have been like okay I, I was thinking i was fighting the eagle but we're actually fighting tenzo we wound him or almost kill him and then we snap back and we see that the eagle was just watching us going a bit crazy and then we snap back but that was not the case uh a lot of gears different gears how it looks really good and yeah i do know that i did not use most of the ghost weapons you you have options which is nice but in the end it depends how you depends on your play style more or less and i actually wonder i'm not seeing any other skill i can get i still have like one point sitting there so I'm curious if this was intentional or because I don't know since I've done everything I'm not seeing anything I can get here love the stances love the haikus uh, some of the haikus uh, was a bit I was trying to make them rhyme and some of them I was like mm, I need to choose something this I was like, this sounds kind of good, but not exactly rhyming or like was not exactly properly meshed up, so to say. But other than that, yeah, great visuals. The only thing I know, I think I could have uh, chosen either through the option that it was like to focus. That's one of my issues that sometimes I was like hitting the enemy and then completely <laughs> attacking another direction like randomly that was one of my pet peeves but other than that another pet peeve was sometimes the parry i was like holding parry was not working or trying to parry and maybe i didn't get all the pairing window time properly but kind of felt sometimes like i'm holding to parry but gene was not parrying and that kind of frustrated me but yeah not a lot of negatives to be honest and i'm curious if they're gonna make a continuation or a second game i don't think in my opinion, if they're gonna make like a continuation or like a Ghost of Shima, quote unquote, too, they could make it like, I don't know, a bit more f in the future, like maybe a hundred years later, and have Jin like become as a legend and have somebody else to play because I'm not seeing how they can make. Another game with Jin. Unfortunately, this kind of seemed like a one, one off, and that's it. Unless they're not gonna call it Ghost of Tsushima, they're gonna be Ghost of another place, you know, another island, or could be mainland Japan, and then you can continue as Jin. And some people, maybe a bit more later on in his life, like 10 years, 20, when, let's say, I don't know, Jin kind of, or the ghost of Tsushima kind of went into like a mythic tale, legends, and all that, and then another threat comes out. I guess the in mainland Japan or something, and then Jin has to return. But again, not sure how you would continue Jin's story from here. Is like I said, it seems like this is it. Let it be. So either you find some way convoluted way to bring Jin back or just have another character in another location and still have, like I said, Jin's story to be like a legend story and somebody being inspired by Jin's legend and yeah, but I don't know what threat you could, uh, you could make. In my opinion, I don't know, maybe a corrupted Shogun. Ah, I don't know. 
would love to have like a sequel or something for Ghost of Tsushima, but kind of a bit more difficult with the story. But yeah, I think I'm going to leave it here for this episode and playthrough. And again, I'll see you with the Legends mode to see if it's something I could record. If it's something of interest. If not, probably this is going to be the end for the playthrough. And hopefully enjoyed this playthrough, guys, and episode. And I'll see you in the next ones, whichever they may be. But as always, don't forget to take care.